Welcome back to Portable Entrepreneur. Can I interest you in more revenue or more traffic for your sites or your client sites? If so, hopefully you were just as equally excited in increasing your site's page speed. Now I know that doesn't sound nearly as fun, but it is crucial. I'm talking about if you can literally get your site speed down to two seconds or less, this could literally double your traffic and your revenue coming in. So that is why this is so, so important that you take just a few minutes to understand what are just a few things you can do, a handful of things that you can do to increase your site's page speed. That's going to help you get more traffic, which brings in more revenue, of course. So if that isn't convincing enough, well, why should you bother doing this? Well, Google told you to. So that's why we're going to be doing this. It is so incredibly important to Google that they are sharing search results that deliver a positive user experience. And just one of those factors is how quickly your pages load. I mean, if you think about all of the free tools and the free data that they've given us. I'm talking about Google PageSpeed Insights, so we can see our mobile and our desktop scores. Google Lighthouse, Google Analytics, where they'll actually show us what our site speed is and give us specific suggestions on what we can do to improve. They've even given us a calculator so that we can calculate how much money we are losing or how much money we will gain based on what our site speed is. And beyond that, they have done so much research and put out so many studies sharing how a page's load time actually impacts the behavior of our site visitors. They've shared how 53% of mobile users bounce if the website takes more than three seconds to load. That means we're losing more than half of our mobile users just because of a slow loading website, even if it's just three seconds. They've also shared upwards of 87% of online shopping carts are abandoned if the load time is just two seconds or more. So if you have an online store, imagine just how much revenue you are losing and you don't even realize it just because you haven't improved your site speed. So today, that is exactly why I'm going to be sharing with you five tools that you can use to be able to increase your page speed, even if this is all confusing. Even if you don't understand the technical jargon and the technical usage of all of this, well, we're going to fix that today by looking at five different tools. So the first tool that we're going to look at is a website cache tool. Now, what this is, is every single time a user visits your website, the browser has to load the website completely from scratch, which, well, it takes more time to do. So by using a website cache tool, this allows the browser to store the website locally. So when that visitor visits the website again, they only have to load anything that is new, any new content or any new elements, and everything else is already there. So that really speeds up the website. Now, a plugin that you can use for website caching is called WP Rocket. This is a very high quality, very well-known plugin that you can use, and it even offers an additional feature called lazy loading. And this is a really, really good one to have, especially if we want to improve our Core Web Vitals score that is coming up with Google's Core Web Vitals update. And essentially what this does is it allows the browser to only load the elements above the fold on a website. So that way, anything that comes above the fold that the user sees initially is going to load and then everything else is not going to load until the user scrolls down the page. So this allows the user to see the content very quickly, be able to interact with it very quickly, and then the page can load as they continue to move on. And since WP Rocket is a premium plugin, if you are looking for a free alternative Another great one to look into is W3 Total Cache, and that will also help you with your website caching. Now, as I mentioned, one of the biggest things that slows down a website is these huge image files. So it's very important that we reduce the size of the files. We make sure they're optimized before we upload them. But let's say that hasn't been done or we still have some bulky images on the website. That is where compressing these images comes in. And a great plugin to help us with that is called WP Smush. Now, what this plugin does is after it has been installed, it automatically goes into the WordPress Media Library Library, and it looks for images that it is able to compress and therefore give you a smaller file size. 
Now, another tool that I really like is called Short Pixel. So with just one click, this actually replaces all of your website's pics with a properly sized, smartly cropped, optimized image and offloads them onto Short Pixel's global content delivery network. And then this also serves back those images in the WebP images to the right browsers automatically. So this is something that is very, very important and it gives you a little bit of extra, we'll say Google love, if you are able to use that feature with short pixel. Now, if you run your Google PageSpeed Insights tool and you see that, well, you're not performing so well. And one of the recommendations it gives you is to compress your files, like your HTML files, your JavaScript files, and you're not really sure how to actually go about doing that. The tool that you can use for that is called WP Super Minify. And this is gonna help you compress all of those HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files that you have and reduce that overall size. Now, especially if you are using WordPress, you really wanna make sure that your database is clean. And here's an example of why this is very important and how you can end up with a database that isn't exactly efficient for your website. Let's say that you create a lot of blog posts, but every time that you publish a blog post, what happens as you write it, you tend to make revisions to it, other people are looking at it and making changes, but every time you make a revision or a change, WordPress is storing that version of that post in the database. So the database is full of all these different versions of that particular post, which can lead to a lot of content that is just hanging around in your database that you actually don't end up needing. So a great way to minimize the size of your database is to use WP Optimize. So this is gonna help you have a clean database, but it can also even help you compress images and cache the site if you're looking for it to do more for you. So this really helps to make sure that you have a much more efficient database and it's gonna be smaller in size for you and really help to load your page even faster. Now, one thing that is great these days about building a website, especially if you don't have a lot of experience, which is something I did not have at all when I first started, is that there are so many page builders out there these days that help you just go into a website and without coding, be able to actually create this amazing website. They have so many tools that let you just get really creative, add a lot of features to your website. But what happens is those tend to be a lot heavier on your website and they tend to make your site load a bit faster. So if you are looking for a new theme that still gives you the flexibility, allows you to be creative, to not have to go in and manually code, and at the same time, still make sure your site loads really quickly, I highly recommend that you check out Generate Press. This is actually a theme that I did a full tutorial on here on the channel. We walk step by step through how to actually set up a website using no coding, using this free theme. And at the end of it, we checked our score and we scored a 99 out of 100 on our Google PageSpeed Insights score. So this was a, an amazing theme to be able to use, still have that flexibility and yet have a lightning fast website. So those are the five tools that, that you are able to use. But Keep in mind, even if you are not using tools or you've used those tools, but you still want to do a little bit more, there are some additional things that you can do without using any tools. The first is to make sure that you have a fast host. Not all web hosting is created equally. Some of them are much faster than others. So if you have gone through a lot of these tools and you've tried different tactics to reduce your site speed and you still aren't getting anywhere, Try changing your host and you may find just that alone really increases your site speed. Now, another thing that you want to do is make sure that you are not using any unnecessary plugins or anything extra on your website that you don't actually need. So it's always a good idea to go in and revisit to make sure you haven't been using any plugins that maybe you install because you just wanted to check them out or you installed them to test them, but decided to use something else. Make sure to keep those to a minimum where at all possible. Now, if you have at all had to change domains or you've had to redirect any pages, do your best to try to use the same URLs and try to keep your 301 redirects to a minimum and that will help those pages load faster. Now, most sites these days, especially with a lot of the themes out there, they automatically create a mobile friendly version of your site, but make sure to check that is actually working. Make sure to check the site speed 
for your actual mobile website and not just the desktop version because you will have two different scores and you want to make sure that you do actually have a mobile friendly version as that will keep you running faster on mobile. And one last tip for you is that when at all possible, use JPEG images over PNG files. That is definitely going to help you dramatically reduce your image file size. Now, of course, with JPEG images, they're not transparent like PNG, but if you are able to, that transparency doesn't matter, do use an optimized JPEG image. All right, I hope this was really helpful for you. Let me know one thing that you will be doing to increase your site speed down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for spending your time here with me and watching this. I will catch you next time.